Hello there, I'm Dr. Miranda, and <clears throat> this is a uh, new approach to uh, teaching the basics of global trade, and um, I'm going to do that by the process of playing a simulation. This is a simulation from Sid Meier's um, a new Earth um, program. And I think it's a really interesting concept. And so the objective, of course, of this game, of this simulation, is to build an empire and this new planet using uh, military might, using uh, scientific research in advance, using economy, global trade, diplomacy, everything that in essence you would need to build a very strong civilization and I thought to myself that here in this game there's a great opportunity to have this discussion about global trade as we know global trade is something that uh, it's happening it's growing uh, and of course is something of great concern uh, particularly given the political climate that we have in the United States uh, as well as uh, other regions around the world. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the basics of global trade. Okay. Now global trade cannot happen if there are no nations, if there are no trading partners. So what we're going to have to do right now is to actually build a strong nation. So we start off with one city. We're going to have to build a military. We're going to have to build uh, the economy. Okay. And so um, we're going to start building uh, the uh, variables that we would need to have in effective global trade. Now, uh, my particular empire or civilization is going to focus on trade because there's a module in this particular game that allows you to build a trading civilization. And I think that for a discussion on global trade, this will really great emphasis. And again, this is a more informal um, informal arena uh, and uh, instead of having a straight lesson or a straight uh, what we call lecture we'll just take it one step at a time okay so right now we are going to see what's happening okay okay we're making landfall and uh, we the first city is called Deep Castle, beautiful. Deep Castle has been founded. Uh, we are given a one soldier unit. An interesting concept about uh, an army is that for us to have global trade, we need to have a safe uh, environment. Okay, a nation needs to have recognized borders, and that nation's borders need to be protected. Because you need to have some type of political stability, economic stability, but also uh, the reason why I believe a strong military is needed is because it actually protects the interest of that nation, not only domestically, but also abroad. In this case, this is a real nice location. It's coastal region. It's next to some resources. Again, another thing that we need to develop a very strong uh, global trade is we need to have resources that we can consume domestically but also whenever we have additional resources we can leverage that and uh, trade it with other uh, partners uh, hopefully around the world but what we're going to do is we're going to tell our military to defend our borders okay. now we have an explorer unit i like explorers because explorers, in this case, they're going to go out and go, they're going to seek out new resources, right? So I liken them as, you know, um, new business ventures, uh, new venture capital, uh, seeking out new markets, new opportunities, uh, companies uh, that look for new resources that they can leverage. So that's what our uh, explorer is going to be looking for. Okay, now we can explore south. Okay, 
But let's go out west. Go west, young man. Okay. Now we're going to have to choose here how we are going to pursue. Uh, we're going to choose a research, and I would like the research to be in the way that we can actually uh, build uh, explorers. Now, explorers are going to be very uh, needful because explorers is how we build new cities. Okay, so we want to build new cities first. Uh, as many new cities, many outposts as possible, that we can promote trade, both domestically and also abroad. So we're going to develop a new technology that's going to allow us to build these explorers. We're going to choose pioneering. It takes about 90 turns. Okay, And we're going to choose a production. Now, since we already have a military, we have a gunboat. I don't want another one. Uh, another military unit that can be very expensive. What we're going to do is we're going to build a worker because a worker can actually develop uh, the resources that we have available. A very strong note here is that in any uh, economy, you're going to need a very effective workforce, a very um, uh, timely workforce, and you're going to have to have that good labor pool in order to build your infrastructure, to build your economy, to promote uh, economic activities. In this case, we are going to need a worker to develop the resources that we have. Okay. Next turn. Now we look at our economic picture. We have uh, already a, 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 a 304, a total 304 credits. Okay, and we have four income coming in and this is for uh, income from output for all cities in this case is we have an internal economy happening okay again for us to have a good effective global trade we need to have a healthy economy both local regional state and of course domestic okay we cannot have strong global trade if the country is not economically healthy. Now you can have global trade with emerging uh, economies, emerging countries which are growing and maturing uh, their economies, but uh, countries that usually win on a global trade level are those who have a strong national economy. Okay, well this is good. This is the limit of that. Um, I want to see what's here and oh my we have I think a sunken spacecraft that can yield some interesting resources okay oh my goodness um, this is not good news because we have some aliens here it's an alien nest we can build uh, another military force to deal with them uh, there's a resource spot which was discovered that's good now we become our competitors. We have the other nations arriving at this planet. Okay, um, I don't know who it is at this point, but we're going to uh, go ahead and we're going to construct an expedition. Okay, um, and we're going to see what kind of resource. But I like this already because look, we have fire, fire uh, pyroxide. This is an energy source, um, and also we have a buoy, and this is a, a pod which can give us some resources that we need. Objective that we're having right now is we want to build a strong economy. We want to we want to start trading. Now we can trade with other nations or we can trade uh, to begin with uh, with uh, our own uh, domestic force. We found them. Okay, that's good. Now where is that? Outpost. Okay, I like to see where that's at. We found an outpost, which is good. It's deep castle. Okay, found an outpost. Uh, for our colony to prosper, we should consider expanding. We should focus our efforts on researching how to create new outposts. And exactly that's what we want to do, right? We want to develop the uh, local economy. We want to have a strong local economy. And what we're doing right now is we're building the resources to get there. So I'm not going to focus too much on the military right now, okay? I want that worker, and by the time we get a worker, we should be also uh, in a position to get some colonists. And with colonists, we will be able to uh, leverage. Okay, this is good. Let's look. We 
we establish uh, trading posts, okay, uh, we can, you know, begin to communicating with these uh, incoming nations so we can establish uh, a trading partnership with them. Now, I don't like this because usually these guys can be very, very tough to deal with, right? Uh, one thing about, oh no, he's going to attack me. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run away for now. Okay? Because I don't want this dragon here. And I am going to send my military to deal with this uh, with this external threat, right? And look, if, you know, if your borders cannot be well protected, you're not going to have global trade and your economy, uh, economic activity within the country is going to suffer. Okay, so the dragon is gone and we're going to resume the research, but I want to protect that. Okay, I'm going to do that by posting ourselves here. Okay. Okay, and if that fella comes close, okay, uh, I can actually make this a quick trip. Okay, our sponsor had the foresight to send resource pods ahead of our expedition. To be waiting when we arrived, parts to a large research instrument have been found in this pod. The other piece are probably around here somewhere, which is good, right? Uh, we're getting resources. I can actually afford to not engage myself in a battle at this point. Oh look, we got a, a launch orbital unit mode. What this does is it uh, helps us to get more energy coming into the outpost or towards the small little city. And that's a good deal, right? Um, this is good. This is a little brain, and we'll talk about that later. It's an additional resource that we can leverage. Oh, my. Okay. We're going to attack. It's going to be a stalemate. It's going to be a battle. I, you know, it's, it's not going to be too much fun, but at least it'll buy some time for people to do research. And look over here. There's some ancient alien remains, and, and those are very, very important. Okay. I want to win this battle, but I want to also promote some healing for that unit, because I don't want to lose that unit. It's a very powerful alien force. Okay. All right, that's good. Move along. Move along, big boy. Okay. Now we're building uh, this economy. This is good. All right, now we're still building our local economy. This is it, it takes about uh, 18 more turns. I'm going to try to speed this up. Okay. Uh, another word about building your internal, you know, the internal uh, economy of the country is we need to make sure that we have wise economic policies that's going to enable. Uh, the building of that economy. Okay. Here we got another uh, pod and we receive a virtue. I want to actually encourage prosperity first. Okay, This is going to help us focus on um, the economic side of things. And again, I am making policy decisions for my state that's going to actually promote global trade. It's going to promote economic activity. Okay. Uh, expedition completed. Your expedition team found a partially intact propulsion drive among the sunken spacecraft. While analyzing its design, they gained a deeper understanding of the energy used to power these ships. The knowledge the team gained eliminates parts of the distant technology called cognition. And our scientists acquired preliminary research on it. So this is good, right? Um, what we're going to do now, okay, is we're going to move this, uh, the Explorer, we're going to, when we can, we're going to move it back uh, closer to the city. We get to have a new module because we're going to research this uh, technology here. It's going to be very important to do so. 
Okay, we are moving along. This is very good. We got seven credits coming in. Okay, so this is this is really good for us economically. We're growing. We don't have a deficit. We have credits coming in. I am going to park my military here. Okay, so we are taking sound economic policies. Okay, to help grow our economy of this new settlement. Marvel discovered vessels from a neighboring colony have discovered a living monolith. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to study those brains. That's going to be very important. Okay, we got another expedition module. And what I want to do is research this sunken um, alien whatever so the additional resources and that's how we can translate this into additional resources the more resources we have in an economy the better it's going to be that economy is going to be the least resources uh, the city of deep castle now has three citizens the new citizen will automatically work for the land near the city for additional food production or energy so this is good we're growing we're developing maturing uh, resource pond discovered. Now we're going to go for the next turn. Let's see if this is going to help. Apparently not. So we're going to move here to this brain and see what happens there. Okay, we're going to go to the next uh, turn. There's a quest decision. Um, free the scientists. Hello. Okay, build one patrol. Okay, good. Okay, economy is growing. We have uh, five more. Uh, five more movements to get our worker. But we have another civilization coming in here. That's fine. Uh, it actually gives us a, a, a head start. Uh, remember also, for those of you who are in business, the, the, you know, the first market entrant, the first one, um, we're going to study this. Um, the first ones to getting to a you know particular market usually has first entrant uh, has you know tremendous ability to corner a market uh, not in well create a monopoly but really in in a uh, in a temporary basis right because you know remember when the iPhone came out you know Apple had the market for a little bit of time okay. Um, so what we want to do is we want to be the first ones in the market. That's why starting first is always a good advantage in these simulations. Okay, so we got our worker, and I want to actually produce a little bit more food. I think that that's important. Okay, um, I can actually, uh, I think this is gold, um, and this is tubers for food. But I don't want to go there now because I have aliens there, and they can destroy my worker. Okay, I don't want to, I want to do that. Okay. So we have uh, ability. We have uh, choices here. We can build a soldier. We can build another worker. Okay. Um, I'm in a bind right now because I, you know, can build a soldier for 49, 47 turns, um, or I can do a clinic. Um, at this point in time, let's do another worker to really build that infrastructure. That's going to be very important for us. Um, and we have the explorer. I want to explore this uh, resource pod here. It's going to be important to do so. All right. So now we have more competition. We have other uh, nations coming in. Okay. 
So I want to build a farm. I want to build food. That's going to be very important, right? Again, we want to build a very strong local economy, regional economy. We want to build a strong national economy, okay? And one of those things that you want to have your, your nation, you want that nation to produce as much of its food as possible. Okay. Now, global trade affords us uh, the beauty of actually importing, uh, you know, things that our nation cannot do. And, and some nations actually uh, import most of their food. Okay. And of course, that is really puts them at a disadvantage at the mercy of other nations who are able to produce that food. Okay. Think about Japan. A lot of their food is imported in. Why? They don't have much uh, uh, area to actually grow their food, okay? So, um, uh, so you know, that, that can be very, very hard. Okay, so we want to make sure that you know, we're taking care of our people, taking care of the economy. Uh-oh, these guys here. The monsters and they have a very very bad uh, temper okay. so I'll stay away from them as much as possible so I'm actually going to get away from uh, that particular area where aliens are detected near castle yeah, so, so we're going to hit them hard Okay, we are going to research this. It's very important. So we've done that. It's going to free that up a little. Worm killing. Okay, that's. Uh, we need that right there. Okay, so we're actually going to move away. Worm. That's not very fun. I really needed a soldier right now, but I'm gonna have to do it for now. Apparently, we have settled on a very dangerous part of the planet. That big worm there is gonna have to go. Okay, I think that it's not a very safe area to be in, but we're going to move that as soon as possible. Start exploring this area here of the planet. And if we are going to take you away via the ocean, because I don't want to come close to these agents. They're very vicious. Um, this present somewhat of a challenge, but you know, I like I like the way that actually the Chinese look at challenges. Um, challenges are often seen as opportunity, and you know something, I need to protect. I'm going to have to engage this monster, but I'm going to try to do it in a very wise way. Because what I can foresee this monster doing is killing off my boat. It's gonna probably happen right now. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. And you can see it took away. That's not fun, is it? I killed my military. Not fun at all. But at least they left my uh, people here by themselves until the next edition. Right now, I have no military. The only way I have to protect uh, is the city build protection, right? Again, that's why it's important to have a strong military 
to protect the integrity of your borders, to protect your interest in the nation and abroad. Right now, I am very stretched, very thinly stretched. The only defense that I have are within the borders of my own colony. Okay. Now, I think I can do a um, a colonist, which is going to come very handy, but I have 14 more turns to go before that. Okay, so we're just going to hang in there, and hopefully these aliens will not go beyond their border for now. And, oh my, here they are. But Deep Castle has a way to defend against them, all right? So again, see what's happening? Um, they're creating some economic instability right now, right? And it's making things a little bit harder uh, because I, I need this cleared up. But in order to do so, I need to clear this uh, alien nest here, right? Uh, it's another conversation we can have about, you know, the impact of uh, external threats on the economy, on the local economy. And sometimes we actually have to go beyond our borders to deal with those threats in case we have terrorism and, and we have other other uh, threats that we have to deal with, you know, threats beyond our borders. Because right now, all I can really do is uh, to keep um, you know, to keep them from coming into my territory, but I can't really go and solve the problem until I'm able to build a military, but I am not going to build a military because I want to build a colonist first. Okay. And I think I can take the chance. I can keep these uh, external threats at bay while I build my military up. Okay later but I need to build my economy. so it's always a give and take right should we have a strong military or should we have a strong economy I think it's possible to have both but you need to have a strong economy first because without the money you cannot pay for bullets okay you need to have the money you need to have the economic stability you need to have a strong economy in order to pay for military Right now, that's what I'm doing. I'm building a very strong economy, and I'm taking risks. I'm taking chances. Okay, but once I have that strong economy, then uh, you know these threats are going to be a thing of the past. Because once I have my military, I am going to go after this alien nest, and I'm going to take them out. Okay, uh, nations. Um... Okay, good. Now I have a. Um... A bigger population that's a very good thing right uh, that means I'm going to have uh, uh, more uh, productivity okay and it's going to be a, a whole lot better for my economy okay so again you know I had to actually go out there explore take chances okay do some investment uh, and that's really sometimes what government does right the government does have a role to play when it comes to uh, shoring uh, for you know strategic investment. Like we're just here, okay. Um, I decided that, of course, we we are going to um, we are going to um, invest on the explorer. We're going to invest on that particular research. And because of that, the result of state-sponsored research or state-sponsored investment, okay, it has yielded a, a lot of good, not only for the private company, but also for the private sector, but also for our citizens. Think about the United States space program, right? NASA. It's still, I mean, our, 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 uh, our economy, right? Our society is still... Uh, getting a lot of benefits from uh, the research from the Apollo, from the former Apollo program, right? And today we have opportunities for the government to invest in private um, private ventures, right? Uh, because those will always yield 
uh, investment back, not only in terms of technology, in terms of uh, technology partnership, uh, new research done, new knowledge gained, but also new industries created. So these companies will, of course, pay the government back for their initial investment, right? That's the way it works. Uh, but new markets will be created, new products will be created, new uh, economic activities will be created. So there is something to be said about a partnership uh, between the government and private industry, right? Some say, well, that's not true, um, you know, capitalism. But we must understand that things change over time. Um, you know, this isn't the world of Adam Smith. Okay, this is a 21st century. Now, I am market uh, oriented, and I, I, I do believe in market forces. I believe in capitalism, but I also believe in smart capitalism. Okay, I want um, uh, you know production and labor to work very well in this. But I do believe that the government has a role to play uh, in, in these concerns. Okay, so I already built, of course, a uh, energy. Um, and I'm going to build, of course, more food because remember, I have an increased population. Increased populations will need additional resources. Okay, as you can see, these aliens are very, very nasty. Uh, you know, external threats are never, never, never fun. But right now, um, I have only uh, nine. Uh, just to go. Uh, I have an opportunity to also uh, do some more research here. We got planetary survey. That's good. Now, I want um, uh, to to actually study chemistry because that's going to enable us to create the technology to take advantage of course of uh, you know the particular uh, resources of the planet because right now we really don't have any natural resources uh, happening okay in terms of the exploitation of those uh, Okay, these orders, okay, good. We've done some good there, we've done some good research happening. Um, more of a mountainous region, which is good. Okay, so we got just a few more turns to go before we, oh my, look at what we discovered. An alien nest. That's not fun. Right? Um, I'm going to try to steer away from these aliens as much as possible. Okay, but uh, sometimes these things are good because they provide you with some really great opportunities okay? um, for research, and that's what we're going to do right now. Wow, talk about an infestation. Hmm. Well, we got, we're, we're doing well, okay. Um, I think we're going to be okay. There's a few turns for that research to conclude. Okay, we only got one more uh, to go. One more turn to go before we actually build our um, output. That's good. Where we're gonna put it? I'm gonna put it somewhere near us, so we can have, you know. I want to take advantage of some of these resources. I want to put it right over here. What's our next production? We're going to build a trading post, okay? Because again, that's going to help build our economy, right? So we live there. Again, building that infrastructure. I'm still taking chances, but that's all right. You know, business is all about taking chances. Building economy is all about taking chances. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. That is the nature of business, right? So we're going to find this upload. And the beauty of it, we got our soldier. And with a soldier, we can now go do some hunting. 
right? I'm gonna do some alien hunting. That's gonna be fun. Okay. Um, is I want to come and get these guys first. Okay, because um, really standing in the way of me. This area for the economy. Okay. It's going to be a bloody affair. It's not going to be something that's going to be fun. Okay. Um, these particular aliens here, they're very, very rough to deal with. I'm thinking of a way that I could go around them. So I don't, but I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. But I want to give my guys and gals the best opportunity. I want to approve that blue, blue. Okay, oh look who's here. Oh, this is great. Do you know why? Because this is going to give us a trading partner. Okay, so I have to clear this map of these aliens because you cannot have a safe um, environment for trade if you don't have a secure environment. Okay, uh, so it's a big battle, and I'm hoping that these guys and gals will stay out. Okay, oh my goodness, there they go. Ugh. If I win this battle, uh, their powers can be enhanced. Which is going to come very handy. Okay, very good. Okay. They're back in full strength. And there's two A in this. That's going to be very important to get rid of. Okay. Oh no, these, these, these aliens are very hard. Oh. Again, taking a chance, but after. Mm. Okay, our guys are not going to be able to win this at all. I'm going to pull them away from here. Okay. Meanwhile, we're going to fortify until they heal. And hopefully the internal... Um, the internal fire force will be able to uh, protect our uh, protect our workers, okay. protect our infrastructure. Okay. Oh, see? Not very good. Not very good. Survivors? Okay, that's good. Look. That's really, really good. Okay. Okay, let's... Um, a little bit more this way. Okay, our city is growing. That's good. We got six. Uh... Okay, our military has regrouped. <sighs> oh, wow. But I'm thinking that we can win this time. I want to make them stronger. Okay. Whew. Boy, that's a tough thing happening here. Wow. Okay. I think that uh, our our force has won this engagement, but I want to fortify. I want to get them healed up first, right? Oh my goodness. Look. 
it, it, I can't, I cannot go through there because those aliens are going to eat me for lunch. Is there a way around that? Nope. Okay. I have to forego that for now, but that's all right. Sometimes you have to just be patient, right? Oh my goodness, I have that horrible worm coming. That's not fun. Oh, yeah, really. Not fun. Okay, this one. This is the only way is to have city power. I want to choose production and what is it? Okay, we got the trade depot going. Okay, oh, this is uh, for the new. Okay, this is good. I want a worker for the trade post because we want to uh, leverage that. Okay. You need to destroy that alien nest. And they're going to attack me. They're going to attack me. Okay. Choose production. I want a trade convoy. But I have to get rid of these aliens. Otherwise, I cannot have a strong and safe trade happen. Alright. We're going to take care of that one. Okay. Mm. Now, there is a way to fudge. What do you mean? I don't want to think. and and the miasma is gonna kill me and I got rid of that alien nest. Now let's go for that little resource there. Okay. And I destroyed the alien nest. Which is very poor. Oh no, the worm, the worm. Destroyed. You can't have that. No. Alright. Sometimes nations have a way that it can fudge in the sense of uh, piling for more money for research and for resources. I have the ability to do that. Um. But I really don't want to do this in this uh, simulation because I want it to be very organic simulation. Um, and I want, you know, to have a healthy budget. I want to have, uh, you know, no deficits running. But I don't see that happen without me taking some very strong approaches I think I can do it okay without having to do that it's just gonna take more time uh, to develop that economy let me try something I'm gonna see how I can no Okay, it's not looking too bad, but it's not looking great either, okay? I'm going to actually fortify my unit, 
and I'm gonna tell these people to move out. All right, so we're doing good. This is this is good. This is uh, this is not bad. There's a few resources that deal with that. You know, we're growing the economy, even though we got some challenges happening. I really want to trade with another country. In this case, this and that blue. In order to do that, I have to clear these threats. Right? These are are are, are some global threats right now. The the aliens are being you know issues i know some of the resources that i will need uh, i i can actually create a unit out of nowhere basically that's what sometimes what they call you know uh creating deficits uh, but i don't want to do that i i want to actually have a very strong healthy economy so i'm going to go do some more exploring elsewhere it would be great to have a Rambo approach, right? And look, I could have cleared that alien nest, but if it wasn't for the worms. But that's all right, because, you know, I'll just take my sweet time. Sometimes you just have to be patient. Sometimes you don't have to be a Rambo. Uh, sometimes you just shepherd your economy in a very slow, methodical process. Uh, and sometimes that's the way to go, right? I got some new research going in. I got I got money now to, uh, it, you know, go for a submarine. I want to finish biochemistry, and then I want to do robotics because robotics is going to allow me uh, to actually do some good things in terms of uh, exploiting. The national, the national, I mean, natural resources of the planet. Okay, that's good. We've, we've, we've done some good building, right? We've built a mine. Uh, you know, things are things are happening now. This is a very dangerous area to be in, but I, I'm in a risky, um, taking risks. That's a good thing, All right? I have this monster here. And we're going to do a plantation that's going to add to the economy. Again, you want to have a healthy economy. Okay? The more resources you develop for your country, the better it is. Okay? okay, so I got the military in good shape. And instead of dealing with that monster, we're going to deal with these here. Okay? Good. Oh my goodness. There's some battles along the way. A virtue. We're going to develop better military tactics. Again, a strong military is good for your economy. Again, you need a strong military to protect the interests, your national domestic interests, and also for your interest abroad. Okay, in this case, I really want to leverage this. trade with call it that blue okay. so uh, looking we're not looking bad okay so uh, some good things happen here but those aliens are going to attack so here's what I want to do first I want to find out what that resource is there Again, more resources for the economy, the better it is. A strong economy, strong national economy, is a foundation for strong global trade. Okay. Countries that have a strong national economy are better players in the international arena. Okay. They have better leverage. Uh, than, than economies that are very poor. Okay, we got some more uh, see, free research money. You always want to do that. And again, the economy always benefits from uh, uh, research and development. That's why it's good to have a strong partnership between the government and private industry. Okay. So in two rounds, we will have 
a trading partner. I want it to be a trade between different nations, but we still have this threat here that we need to clear out. Let's build another colonist. It's always a give and take, right? And we'll streamline this for trade. And you know, my purpose here is to create a very strong economy. Now, the good news is I don't have that worm there anymore, so I'm going to take a chance. And, you know, I want to do a deaf group. You know, it's going to be really great. So let's develop internal trade, that's fine, but at least we got some trade going, that's good, you saw how the credits, you know, started. Um, Alright, so another nation venture agreed you well, neither of us were needed, okay, let's work together, that's fine. And there are some... Discuss potential agreements, party politics, yeah. And of course, uh, let's make another deal or ideas. Okay. Okay, well, she doesn't want to finish that trade. That's fine. We're going to get some good resources. I'm going to do some more research along the way. We have another nation coming in that's integer. We're going to start competing for the resources that we have there. We can always declare war against that colony, but we want to do that stuff. We always want to have stable economy and a stable economy often comes from a stable international war. There will always be war. There will always be challenges along the way. But peace is always more, uh, well, let's say it's always better for business than war, right? Uh, you have a stable infrastructure. You have trading partners between, uh, you know, different nations and different groups. Um, so we want to maintain peace as much as possible. Okay, we want to destroy this. And this is good, you see? Uh, we gain some much needed resources. Uh, now, after we construct another uh, trading uh, vehicle, we're going to trade with that uh, country. Okay, let's see what uh, diplomacy folks want. Um, I want to go more towards uh, okay, my infinities. Let's see, more ideas. Okay. Was genau schlägst du also vor? Okay, so they don't want to do this. Is this? All right, so we are in a 
we're in a good position here, but we're going to actually finish um, this lesson. Okay. Um, we're going to finish this here, say. So what we really learned today through this simulation is that, um, you know, for the basics to establish global trade is you need to have a strong, healthy, uh, local, regional, national economy. The, the, the better your economy is, uh, the more leverage you're going to have, your nation is going to have when it comes to uh, trading overseas. Okay? The other lesson that we learned through the simulation is that we need to have a strong military presence. We need to have a healthy military. We need to also have a, a you know a balance between um, a military that is supported by uh, the economy, because if you don't have a healthy economy, you don't have a healthy military. A military needs funding, uh, and that funding comes from a, a very good economy. Now. There are times we've seen in the history, for example, of the United States of America, that we had had to build the deficits, just like we currently have, in order to fight uh, certain threats. For example, World War II, we fought the Axis threat, and we had to build the deficits. We had to go into debt. We had during the Cold War, we had to go into debt, uh, had to go into deficits, um, and to build our military so we could defend our um, interests around the world. Okay, every nation state sometimes will have to deviate from a balanced budget uh, in order to uh, address their uh, military needs because the military is very important when it comes to global trade. Okay, because a, a strong military protects the domestic interests, protects the borders of a nation, as well as helps to protect the interests abroad. In this simulation, we saw that I want to conduct business with that base but there are those creatures uh, that are standing in the way and they will destroy any any uh, uh, economic convoy vehicles and it's going to disrupt global trade okay so I'm actually spending out of my own resources to actually conduct business abroad now I could conduct that business domestically as you see I'm actually that was my choice uh, my second choice at first, uh, you know, I have business being conducted domestically, but now I want to expand to a global trade. But I can't do that right now because I got those creatures standing in the way. So that's why I had to build a military. But to build that military right now, I'm having to work on my economy. So right now, I'm in a position where I'm okay. Um, I don't need to have a deficit. I don't need to expand right now very quick. The military force that I have, it's doing the job, um, and I'm being very strategic on how I use that military. And I think that within you know 100 uh, 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 turns or not, we will completely have eradicated uh, these threats from uh, this area. And what that's going to do is the next step is to build more colonists. We already have a colonist being built. We have a worker being built by the other outposts. And then I want to build uh, at least uh, one more convoy business convoy and then I want to build the military outwards again and build some more explorers to go out and at least three more settlements building columns so we have a lot of work to do but what you saw me doing is I concentrated on building building that very strong uh, domestic uh, economy okay so we have some exciting uh, things coming. Okay, now hopefully you will subscribe to uh, this channel and that uh, you will join me in, in this very interactive uh, training, right? Uh, lecture series, this one Global Trade, and today we just learned the basics of Global Trade, okay? So I think this is a very fun, very interactive way